Hello Aquarius and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for February 11th through the 17th of 2019. All right, you guys. Okay, so this is your last week with the sun in your sign, Aquarius. We're going to pull one card for your general energy. We'll also do a general read and then we'll do a love read and then oracle cards. Okay, guys. Um, also, if you are a subscriber, um, you can take $6 off of any love reading that you guys book for the month of February 2019. Okay, guys. So let's check out what is coming in for you for this week. Alrighty, for your general energy. And remember, Aquarius, that this reading will not resonate with all of you. Um, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I give out the messages that I get, and if it doesn't resonate with you, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for your weeklies, as well as your February monthlies, as those are up, guys. Um, and, and actually, your full year ones are up, too. So again, check them all out. I also just put up a pick-a-card um, love reading for what's coming in for you in February 2019 for love. So do check that out. All right, Aquarius, let's pull one card for your general energy, and I'll talk a little bit about the um, astrology this week because it's going to be some, um, I feel like we're going to have a, lo a lot of surprises this week, a lot of big energy shifts, a lot of new things coming in, but we'll talk about that after I get your general energy here. So let's see what my Aquarian general energy is for this week for my Aquarians, general energy for the Aquariuses that need to receive these messages. What is their general energy for February 11th through the 17th? Ooh, we get the Knight of Swords. Yeah, again, I feel like we're getting, we're receiving some type of information or maybe we're um, understanding something, getting clarity on something, moving forward to communicate something. Um, the Knight of Swords is very fast. He's, you know, the fastest knight of all the knights and the knights are all pretty fast, um, but I always think that the Knight of Swords is the quickest. I often see him as messages um, that could be from the internet, through our phones, um, through um, situations like that, or, you know, um, social media type of messages. Messages that are delivered very, very quickly, you know, the quickest form. Um, I know that back in the day it was not social media and stuff like that, but it is 2019, and um, that is the kind of energy that I do often get from the Knight of Swords is, is you know, online messaging through our phones, calls, emails. Um, so again, we could be receiving a message this week about some clarity, or again, we could be putting that out there. We could have um, recently received some clarity, understand, understood something, or received some, received some type of message um, throughout this week that is propelling us really um, clearly forward, that is giving us a new line of direction or something new to think about and consider here, if it's from someone else. Um, and this time I'll talk a little bit about the astrology because this is feeling very much um, to do with it. <laughs> so this week um, we may finally reach a boiling point with any tension that has been building in terms of adjusting and adapting our infrastructures um, to integrate a more encompassing vision. We've had this tension building for over the first few weeks of February um, as unpredictable Uranus moves through the last degree of Aries before making its seven-year transit in Taurus on March 6th. So Uranus in the last degree of Aries has been closing in on a conjunction with Mars that will actually be perfected between the 11th and 13th, so the beginning of this week. Expect unpredictable, surprising news and knowledge to come in. Um, do not be afraid when this comes in um, to go where you have never gone before, to do what you may have um, feared to do um, or feared to say here. Um, be a brave, courageous individual and don't combat whatever is coming in with selfish, headstrong, or hostile energy and attitudes, okay guys? So that's my little message in terms of that. Now let's look at what's coming in for you in general this week. Alrighty guys, and if you want to book a private reading or take advantage of the $6 off the love reading for this month, make sure you are subscribed. And then um, go check out all the information that I have on booking a reading with me that is right below this video in my description box. Alrighty, Aquarians, 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 what is coming in this week for you? What will you be going through in your general lives? Not love, but this is just general because we will do a love reading in the second half of this video. Alright, general reading for my Aquarians, what's coming in this week? What will they be going through? We're getting the Three of Swords reverse. I like that. I like it. Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, well, that's... Hmm. What else is coming in for my Aquarians this week in their general lives? What will they be going through in their general lives, career, general lives here? Eight of Rods. Some of you guys could be moving, traveling, getting kind of... Maybe to seek out clarity in a new beginning. 
Um, that's kind of what I feel here. Some of you guys might be making some big moves this week. Some of you might be deciding it's time for me to move. It's time for me to start seeing, um, to start see where this is going here. Start seeing like, especially where your career is going. You might be thinking to seek out clarity because with the queen of swords reversed, um, she's often kind of a withholding energy. I often see her as when she's reversed, she's kind of cold, withdrawn. She's not going to tell you how she really feels. And when she does, it's going to be harsh and cruel and um, mean. And it could be because you're in the process of healing from something or getting over something. It could even be a physical heal type of situation. But let's see what we get here. Clarify the Three of Swords reverse and the Queen of Swords reverse here for my Aquarians for February 11th. Sorry, yeah, 11th through the 17th. I almost said it 17th through the 11th. <laughs> Okay, Aquarius, Three of Swords and Queen of Swords. Clarify the messages for my Aquarians. Pretty sweet here. And we get the Six of Swords. Yeah, I definitely feel like some of you guys might actually physically be moving. But whatever it is, it does feel like we're trying to move on from something. Queen of Swords reverse to the Eight of Rods. Queen of Swords reverse to the Eight of Rods here. The center of my Aquarians reading. Clarify, I'll just bring the Queen of Swords reversed and the Eight of Rods in their daily and general lives. Get the Four of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Rods, the Three of Rods, clarify the messages. Eight of Rods, the Three of Rods for my Aquarians this week. And we're getting, oh my gosh, the Two of Cups. Okay. Dang, I'm trying to not focus on love, but this is feeling kind of lovey-dovey, but we'll see. Um, okay. <clears throat> And again, guys, check out your monthly readings for February. There's a big full love reading in there. Um, and we do a nice general overview and um, talk about the astrology for the month. So check that out as well. All right, so this is your last week with the sun in your sign. This is feeling like things are really kind of picking up here. Um, I'm going to say for some of you, some of you guys are definitely physically moving. Some of you guys might physically be on the move to release something from the past. Or you might be trying to heal to move forward. Maybe we have um, had a hard time making this decision. For some reason with the Queen of Swords reverse, it just feels, she just feels very, you know, very dominated by negative emotions, if that makes sense here. There's a very sterile, cold, um you know, negative feeling here, intolerant feeling, petty feeling here with the Queen of Swords reverse, very petty energy. So again, if we've been holding on to anything from the past, it feels to me like we're releasing that. Yes, the Queen of Swords is reversed. We might have some trouble releasing something here when it does show up that way, but the Four of Pentacles reverse to me signifies, especially in terms of career, if we felt heartbroken, we felt frustrated, um, we might have had a hard time moving on from a specific career situation or a specific idea. And it does seem like this week we're feeling we're feeling the pressure to move forward. We may even be seeing new opportunities, new ideas that are going to give us what we want. We could even be entering a partnership with somebody, working with somebody here, and really seeing that grow. Because the Two of Cups and the um, Three of Rods here, to me, indicate that, you know, we could be working with a group here. We could be working. We could get an offer here or a lot of energy that, or communication that suddenly comes in. Um, that's like, hey, move here, start this new job with this company or something like that. Or, you know, you're starting to, maybe you're moving, you're starting um, a business here. You're coming into some type of business here that you might really love. Somebody that you really enjoy working with. Somebody that you can really build with here. Um, I don't know, I kind of feel like this might need another clarifier. Let's click, get one more clarifier here. This is feeling really good. Um, let's see. Two of Cups, Three of Rods. Continue to clarify the message here. In terms of my Aquarians for this generating. Clarify the messages of the Eight of Wands, Two of Cups, Three of Rods. This is giving them this week. Yep, this is a new beginning. Oh my god, you guys get two aces that came out just like that. So, um, yeah, this is nice. Okay, so some of us here need to take this new opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles is my favorite ace to get. And you guys just got it. We've got it right next to another ace here. So this is definitely a new beginning. It does feel like we're finally having this new start. We're having something solid come in here. Something real. Something that um, if we take, you know, we're really going to enjoy. So I would say this week, whatever comes in, surprising news, surprising um, offers, etc. I would be... I would advise you to take it. I would advise you to go with it. To go with your gut here. Release any sort of petty negative energy here. To me, this energy right here, as we're trying to move forward to heal, we know that we have to move. We have to leave something behind. We have to move on. The Six of Swords is, again, often a traveling card. Maybe we're having a hard time 
Um, we've had a hard time moving forward because of a money situation, pettiness and that kind of aspect. We're feeling very down with it here. Um, but again, I still feel like you guys are maybe like actually physically moving or moving forward this week in a very huge way. So we have two cards of movement here. The two cards that really denote actual physical movement as well as, you know, communication, communication and movement forward here. You know, but this could actually, again, be physically traveling with these two cards here. The Queen of Swords Reverse is... Again, a very, um, a very critical, overly critical, fault-finding type of energy here. Um, a tendency to find fault here, especially with the Four of Coins reverse. It just feels like we need to work out a strategy for change here um, and establish our own freedom. And we could, again, feel blockages in terms of money. We could feel like, you know, we're just constantly losing money here and we really want to be gaining it. Um, again, it's kind of like we're moving forward. But again, like a lot of people, like a lot of... Um, the readings that I've been doing, there's just, there's kind of like a switch here. And again, I think it has a lot to do with what's coming in astrologically because it does feel like we're getting some type of communication that is going to propel us forward, that's going to give us an offer for a new beginning, a new start. Um, you know, we have two amazing aces here again. So whatever you're feeling, you know, frustrated, petty, um, upset about here, you know, it just feels very overly self-critical over the fact that maybe you haven't been able to retain money, you haven't been able to hold on to money, um, you know, and we have really high expectations for whatever we're stepping into, and we need to leave that in the past, because it feels like we're applying some type of expectations and um, just irreverent, just totally irrelevant, irreverent details and um, expectations to whatever our situation is, and we're like, no, I should be here by now, I should have this going on by now. But what we need to do is move on from that energy and heal from it because we're moving forward regardless the three of swords is still in reverse which is amazing you know it is um i like that it's there i like it even though some people can often see it as alienation and remorse and frustration as as we try to move forward through this energy and we're criticizing ourselves too much about our money situation and about you know our expectations we're like oh no i should be here i should be doing this don't be so hard on yourself here is really what i'm getting um, leave it all behind, leave it all behind, move forward, release it, maybe talk to somebody about it if that's what's going to help you, but don't get onto this negative track of energy this week here where you're crapping on yourself, you're just like, no, I should, I should be here and I should be doing this and I'm feeling really petty, I'm feeling really frustrated. And for some of you, it might be, again, being feeling frustrated with yourself in this type of situation. Again, having these really high expectations that have just not come to fruition, so you're feeling really lack, really frustrated. Um, again, probably having money problems because of the situation. Um, we might have had really high expectations for a job or how something would work out or how something was going to play out in terms of our career and money, but it just does not seem to be um, doing that great. But how, however, it does it say with the Six of Swords that we are moving forward. We have to leave this energy in the past. Um, and some of you, again, might be literally physically moving because of this. You might be saying, all right, it's time for a change. I'm an Aquarius. I'm going to pack up and I'm going to go. I'm going to go do something else now. I'm going to go try something else. Um, I'm going to heal from this because I need to find a way forward. And then it does feel like around mid to the end of the week here, we're having some type of communication or really just a lot of momentum forward towards a desired end, towards our desired goals. We're getting that stuff that we didn't feel like we were ever going to get in the beginning of the week that we felt blocked from. There are blockages, but we're seeing a new way here. So again, um, look at how you're accumulating your um, finances, your stability, your money, whatever. Um, or again, even if you're not happy with your job situation, look at what is blocking you from that. To me, it seems like it's a lot of self-critical energy here because with that Eight of Wands and that Two of Cups that comes in right after that, you know, it does feel like things are really moving forward. The Three of Wands is seeing things happen, seeing, you know, momentum forward here. The Eight is just always, you know, just absolute momentum towards our desired end, our great expectations, um, and moving towards them with haste, you know. There's a lot of arrows here. Again, with the Eight of Wands and the Two of Cups, it could be that, that they're arrows of love. You could be communicating to somebody that you're interested in them, that you love them, that you want to be with them. Or again, if this is a love reading for you. I mean, we'll do the love in the second part, so I'm going to focus more on career. But if you are reading it as a love reading, it does feel like you're going from, like, not understanding how you can... Um, bring in love and bring in a good relationship here that has stability and love and passion 
And then all of a sudden, it's like around midweeks, either somebody communicates that to you or you're just like, all right, I'm going for it. And it works out. So whatever you were, you were criticizing yourself and being afraid to move forward and feeling super isolated and frustrated and blocked. And then out of nowhere, as soon as you communicate, as soon as you speak up, you speak your mind here, um, it's really coming forward. And if you guys haven't checked out my pick a card reading, this is kind of reminding me of one of them actually that I got here, which is kind of interesting. And as I was doing it then, I was like, I don't know why, but this feels very Aquarius. I didn't say that in the reading, but in my head I was like, I'm, I don't know, I'm not going to tell you which one it is. You'll have to go and check it out for yourselves and see which um, pick a card it was for you guys. But I really think that it's resonating very specifically with you, one of them, because this is the same energy of, um, wow, I'm never going to get there. I'm not going to do it. And then all of a sudden you guys just like, you have your conversation, you speak your mind, you speak your truth, you start to believe in yourself here, you accept the things that are coming in and you're looking at things from a new perspective, a different way forward here. And we're seeing, oh my God, there's all these options going forward. And maybe I should have been asking this person to, you know, partner up to work with them. Maybe I should have been, you know, trying to, um, maybe I should have accepted something that I didn't accept before. Maybe I should have communicated with somebody and been like, hey, I need some help or do you want to work together? Um, I could use like a marketer or whatever it is. Um, it does feel like you're reaching out, you're finding new ways here because, you know, the Eight of Wands is also a lot of different options. It could also, again, be arrows of love if it's a love situation, but to me, it's having a lot of opportunities, a lot of momentum forward, a lot of different pathways, and, um, you know, a lot of different changes we can make to get to our desired end, to get here, to bring about, you know, to bring together passion and um, financial stability and that's what I feel often honestly with this two of cups and this three of wands if you're not getting into like um, a partnership or something like that with um, in terms of work and career here it really feels like this is you bringing these two things together bringing passion and an ability you know your passion for something and your love for it um, and really making something more of it, something stable, something fertile. Because again, the Ace of Pentacles is the most solid Ace. Pentacles are always solid. They give you something that is that it, you know will give you stability. It is the most solid offer. It's going to give you something that you can work with, that can be built upon, that can give you that money, that can give you um, in terms of stability, career, and you know all of that. It's going to give you everything that you want here. I mean, you can have that all this week if you are willing to you know, step into this, if you're willing to make those changes, if you're willing to accept this, to communicate as well, Aquarius. So if you feel like you, know, you need to communicate to somebody this week as well or communicate about a situation in terms of career, do it, okay? It really feels like whoever you communicate with is going to help you, and it's going to help you get this these aces, see things progress with that three of wands, that three of rods there. You know, there's fruitful collaboration in business here is really what I'm getting here. Um, a lot of enterprise, a lot of ingenuity. We're having the effort, you know, we're putting in the effort this week. It really feels like you guys are. It's really awesome. Um, so what a flip over here. It's like you guys start off the week like, oh, I'm never going to get there. And then all of a sudden you're like, holy crap, I can do this. I just, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Why didn't, why haven't I been speaking my truth? Why haven't I been following my own path here? So let's check out um, what comes in for love for you guys. I'm going to check that out with my Hobbit deck here for love and romance for my Aquarians. Love and romance for my Aquarians for February 11th through the 17th of 2019. Love and romance for my Aquarians February 11th through the 17th of 2019 relationships love we get ooh the devil why does this one want to come out so bad whoa three of coins had a sip of tea what else is coming in for my aquarians for love and romance february 11th through the 16th sorry <laughs> through the 17th 11th through the 17th for their love life singles couples all my aquarians for love and romance Page of coins, two of wands. I feel like there's one more that really wants to come out here. So we're gonna get five for love. Be happening in their love lives, the love lives of my Aquarians. Getting oh my god, the tower. Okay. So we have <laughs> we're bookending this reading with a couple of smog cards here. A couple of very intense smog cards. Um, which is okay. It's okay. It happens. Um, we can deal with it. We'll work with it. So let's get some clarifiers here. Um, all right. Could be even a twin flame situation that we're starting here. Um, there's definitely growth in mind, body, soul. Maybe we're having a lot of attraction for somebody in mind, body, soul starting something new. Could be an earth sign. I don't like to throw meanings or sorry, throw signs at my cards all the time. 
because I just feel like sometimes it's just not meant to, it doesn't always mean, you know, that specific sign, but if it really shows up, I'll talk about it. Because again, it could be Capricorn energy as well. But let's see. The devil and the three of coins. Clarify what that means for my Aquarians in terms of love this week. Getting the moon. Um, wow, okay. Um, at, yeah, again, actually the day after the 17th, we're have the, we have the sun moving into Pisces. So that's Pisces energy as we move into Pisces season. Could be feeling very much internally like, I don't know. I, I feel like, it's, sorry, the eight, I don't know what I was going to say there. I'm very um, dreamy. Pisces is all about living in fantasy, dreaminess. Um, they're very watery energy here. So again, we could be feeling, you know, the beginnings of that um, energy. Or again, that Aquarius new moon could have brought up some situations for you. Could have brought up maybe even some, you know, a cycle here. Sometimes I see the devil as negative cycles, cycles that we get stuck in, trapped in, um, addiction, addictive cycles. But let's continue to pull here. The three of coins, the page of coins, my Aquarians in love this week. What does this mean for love? From the love lives of my Aquarians, tell me what the three of coins is saying for their love lives this week. We're seeing the knight of wands, page of coins for my Aquarians and their love lives. We're getting we get in here. Hmm. Three of Cups and the Tower. What is the Tower here? Clarify what the Tower is saying. The Two of Wands, the Tower. Tower. What is under? What is the Tower bringing up here for my Aquarians? What is this Tower moment for my Aquarians and their love lives? What a shift here. What is going on? The hero font. Interesting. Okay. Wowie. All right. This is pretty intense. <laughs> so we're going to take a good look at this guy. Uh, or at, this, at these guys. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> All right. So the devil and the three of coins. Both of it is very, you know, earthy energy there. There's a lot of earthy energy there. Um, you know... The devil is, uh, it's a very difficult energy. Again, with the moon, this could be cycles that we're aware of. Or again, maybe we have an attraction towards somebody um, that we work with and we're afraid to communicate it here. That could be what's going on in general here. We could be afraid to communicate our feelings about somebody um, because sometimes I see the devil as a cycle that isn't really breaking here. And the moon is often about, you know, all these things. And look at how sad he looks here. It's Gollum and he's got the moon looking down at him and he's feeling frustrated he doesn't have his precious there and he's feeling you know lost in fantasy about it like why is this happening he's very much um an unstable mentally character so there's a lot of um instability with the energy of the moon here a lot of you know internal like working type of energy here you know there's um a need to keep our feet on the ground here especially with the moon and the devil energy it's saying keep your feet on the ground because negative tendencies are really blocking us here in terms of our relationships, you know. This is showing that maybe we're attracted also to somebody based on um, lust, based on some type of situation here that, um, some type of energy that we're succumbing to. And it feels, again, like we're getting caught up in this negative cycle in our head. So if you're single, you're getting caught up in a negative cycle in your head here about moving forward. And we, what we need to do is build onto something new here. The Three of Pentacles is saying that you have the ability to really, um, especially with the Page of Coins, the Knight of Wands, go forward and communicate your feelings um, and not get so stuck up in your head about it. Because I feel Aquarius with this energy here, if you're having trouble communicating your feelings, you're communicating to your partner this week, it's feeling, you're feeling really left out, you're feeling lonely, you're feeling like you're unable to communicate how you feel. Um, and what you need to do is look at if you are being authentic in mind, body, spirit here is really what I'm getting. We need to look at um, the basis of our attraction, especially if we're single, or the base of our attraction, the base of these feelings for ourselves. Look at the way he's looking back at this and listening to this. You know, then it's moving forward. So we're looking back at this situation, at these feelings, and we're bringing them into reality. Because again, the pen, the page, oh, sorry, the three of pentacles, the page of pentacles, you know, and the knight of wands are very much more, are more based in reality than this energy. They're going to bring this into the real world. They're, they're, they're going to work on this. They're going to build upon it. They're going to look at the mind, body, spirit of this. You know, why is this coming up here? 
We need to work on our mind, body, spirit. Whenever I see the three of coins, we need to work on how that affects us in terms of love. What are we really thinking when, how we train, you know, what kind of energy are we really giving off here? Because the moon is very, you know, it's very confusing, lonely, and out of touch with energy, sorry, out of touch with reality energy here. Um, our fears can seem to come to life and overtake us. And that's really what I'm getting here. So whatever, at the beginning of the week, if you're having fear and love or you're feeling really frustrated in your communication about it or in like a negative cycle that you feel like you're caught up in, it's time to look at it from a different perspective because you're allowing your fears and fantasies to really carry you away here. <laughs> Um, we really need to be aware of what's going on and tap into our emotions. Again, tap into your mind, body, spirit, ground yourself. There's a grounded energy. Um, if you want to start something new, you're going to have to put in that effort. The page of coins is, um, putting in that effort with the knight of wands. You know, they're both about, they're, you know, they're neither, neither of them are the king or the queen of the deck here, but they are both about communication to me and bringing something into bringing a beginning into reality. So again, we might need to approach this with a better way of communicating. We might need to communicate our passions in a healthier way here when I see the Knight of Wands. It might be time to, you know, embody that energy. It's very Sagittarian energy. And, um, hmm, let's see. Because the Page of Coins, again, is... It's saying that if we want to, we can have, you know, what we need to, this is all like, I don't know how to describe this. What am I trying to say here? Um, how am I trying to put this into words, this feeling? We have something that we can celebrate this week in terms of love, but we have to put in the effort. We have to commit to communicating our feelings. We have to commit to putting in the effort here. If we want our love lives to continue to improve, to see an improvement, to make that change, we're going to need to see what is bringing up this energy and how we can really change it here. We might need to work with others, work on our, you know, if we have a partner, again, work with our friends here. Um, or again, it could be, I'm saying, I'm seeing that some of you might be meeting somebody through work or something that you might be very interested in. And you might go out with them, see what's going on here, really connect with them, have a good time. Um, the Three of Cups is very celebratory energy. Um, it's also seeing, you know, with the Two of Wands here, we're having a good time, we're seeing where things are going. So don't apply this negative, fear-based, confusing, crappy energy of, oh, I don't know what's going on, it's never going to happen again. You're allowing your fears to be real here. And we need to cut that off. We need to... And that energy here, we need to be focusing on the reality. And the only way to focus on the reality is, you know, bring a reality to the situation. So bring your reality here. Bring your truth to the situation. Bring your truth to the relationship, to the person you want to, you know, get to know, the person you want to date, the person who you have feelings for. We have to talk to them here. Um, it just feels very much like we need to have a good heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. Um, the Two of Wands, again, is looking towards the future. We're, we've looked at the past. We know where things are going or, you know, what has happened. Now we're going to apply what we have learned and move it to the, to the future here. The Two of Wands is saying the world is in your hand with this relationship, with this situation. And all you guys have to do is really um, communicate and see where this is going. The Tower is, you know, bringing in some type of commitment with the Hero Fought. This could be a long-term commitment, marriage even. We could be seeing, you know, we could be meeting somebody that is our twin flame. Because often the two of, two of wands in this deck often indicates a twin flame energy for me. Um, again, we could be celebrating that. This. We, could be, we could be having a really good time, really good time um, connecting with somebody. Um, and again, even if we're, you know, already in a relationship, we're having a lighter, happier time this week. But we need to allow that energy in. We need to make that shift here. The hero font in the tower. I'm going to pull one more clarifier there because it seems like a really big energy. Clarify the hero font with the tower here. What does that mean for my Aquarians? Could be a Taurus because the hero font is that Taurus energy. Could be a Scorpio because that is Scorpio energy. But um, to me, this is really just saying that we might be committing. Listen to your higher self this week because it's trying to communicate a huge change to you. Somebody or, you know, you might need some wise counseling. You might need to talk to somebody. Or again, if you're getting communication from a twin flame, it could be that this person wants to commit with you. They want to make that change. And this is going to be a huge shift for you, Aquarius. I'm feeling that some of you have been single for a very long time. That this is going to be big, big energy. We're like, oh my God, I think I'm committing for the long term. For, for that, like forever. The Tower of the Hero font. Clarify what this means for love for my Aquarians this week. Oh, I didn't want this reading to be this long. But you guys having the last week of this season, of your own season, is just like big energy. <laughs> All right, we're getting hero font the tower. What does this mean? Clarify the energy here. What is bringing up the hero font? Sorry, the tower and the hero font. Towers bringing up the hero font. What does this all mean? 
for love through my variants this week and we're getting the eight of wands yeah communication so this is not you communicating um that you want to shift here that you want this yet yeah, you want this commitment that you really want to move forward with this person um again your higher self is trying to communicate this to you that maybe you want to move forward with somebody that you know all of a sudden the passion and the drive is here i don't know it's like the tower hits and all of a sudden you guys just like know what you have to do you know how to move forward here you've been looking at it all week here um and maybe trying to figure out how to communicate what it is and that's so weird the candle just did like a really weird thing too when i said that so again i think that some of us here are communicating how we feel and are moving forward here it's like all of a sudden we're getting it or again we're having surprise um, information or communication coming in that's allowing us to move forward, maybe stepping into some new territory in relationships, maybe even getting that proposal. The hero font can often be marriage um, and the tower and the eight of wands. So again, we could be seriously committing to somebody or seriously, um, you know, communicating with a Taurus who is our twin flame here. I don't know. This is really, really beautiful. Let me know how this goes, guys. Um, let's pull one Romance Angels Oracle card for your love message for the week here. I don't want to get too involved in that. That one's just very complicated. <laughs> Some complicated energy there. And again, I would advise you guys to go check out that pick a card love reading because one of those readings is like really resonating with how you guys are going through this week, I'm noticing. So let's see. Place, or what they need to know in terms of love for this week for my Aquarians. Messages about their love lives. The romance, Archangel and Angel energy wedding holy crap wow okay so yeah some of you guys actually might be getting married or might be getting proposed to or and if you guys are not um with somebody yet this per this situation involves marriage you could be you know communicating with the person that you really want to spend the rest of your life with or realizing um this week wow i want to spend the rest of my life with this person this is the person i want to marry i want to tie down here again wedding could also just be seriously committing you want to want to commit somebody commit to somebody you might want to commit somebody Mm, that was embarrassing um okay <laughs> you drew this card because of an upcoming wedding um it comes to you because marriage plays a role in the answer to your question for some people this card could be a validation that you will get married and asks you to keep the faith and continue enjoying your life without worry about your future marital status for others this card signals that you'll meet a significant other at an upcoming wedding or experience something there that will lead you to a new romance um for you can also represent your parents marriage and the way it affected your feelings and beliefs about relationships um this card in a few cases this card asks you to look at your present and past marriages and review your feelings with the intention of healing your heart and your relationship perhaps it's time to enlist in a marital counselor to help you both um sort out how you feel and sometimes this card can signal the end of a marriage um in which case the angels support everyone involved as you come to an understanding about experience and renew your heart's willingness to love for me personally, the energy that I get from this is that some of you guys are really coming into this energy and this feeling of, I want to commit, I do want to spend the rest of my life with somebody. And as Aquarians, you know, that's, the, especially if you have a Venus in Aquarius, I'd be, I mean, that's a surprising energy for you guys. Um, I feel like you guys are the type of people who are totally fine on your own. Aquarians I always find as kind of loners and they're totally cool with it. And they're like, how do relationships even work? I'm so good on my own. I'm so good at, you know, all these other types of relationships. But love is like, uh, I don't know. Uh, but to me, this is, again, um, indicating that you might be really coming into something with somebody here. You might really, um, again, also look at the way that your parents had their relationship, their um, marriage, if they're married. Um, and look at how that affects, you know, the way you view love and relationships and commitment here today. Um, this, again, if it's not a wedding that, you know, you're coming into here, you're meeting somebody who you have, been, you know, it could be very possible that you want to marry. Or, again, you might be in a relationship with somebody where the next step is marriage. And that's what you're thinking of. You're thinking of the big commitment. You're thinking of communicating how you really, really feel about somebody. Um, and, again, it could result in eventually a wedding or a huge commitment. Wow. All right. Let's get um, one... Stacey DeMarco Oracle card now for you guys. Stacey DeMarco Oracle card here for advice from spirit. Advice from spirit. Advice from spirit for my Aquarians this week. What will help them? Wow. Owl. Wise seeing, wise action. Love it. This is so good for you. All right. Um, where is it? Okay. Silent winged and wise, all seeing creature of the night. Show me the way. I will follow you in flight. Um, 
Okay, should the hooting owl come looking for you this Halloween, it indicates the need for wise counsel or further information before you make a decision. Considered action is warranted. Think before you act emotionally. Ensure you think strategically, not impulsively. And again, I feel like that's what we're going through this week. We're not, um, we're getting out of that emotional weird state that we're in where we're just like, ugh, like all over the place and like believing things that are not real, which again, in both your love and general reading that seemed to come up. Um, and you're seeing things for how they are. You're taking wise action here. You're seeing things the way you need to. You're making the situation, you know, you're making the changes that need to be made here. Um, we're considering our action before we're doing it. Um, again, we might be really re having some really amazing downloads, some surprising information come in through our higher self, through guidance, or again, through some um, specific guides or wise leaders here that could really help us to see action moving forward. doesn't mean that you have to do that action right now or, you know, take that action this week, but it does feel like um, whatever you're learning this week, it's going to propel you towards a better life and towards, you know, better finances, better connection, better connecting really with other people is what I'm getting, honestly. Um, all right, Aquarius, so that was your weekly message there. Um, do check out your monthly February 2019 reading. I hope you guys have a wonderful last week of um, you being in your own, um, sorry, the sun being in your sign. I don't know why I said that backwards. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much. Check out the Pick a Card Love reading I have, and check out your weeklies and your monthlies for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Your 2019 to 2020 reading is up for the whole year, so you can check that out anytime to see the messages for the whole year. Um, your general message for the year is very, was very um, deep and important for you know all the transitions that 2019 will be bringing to you and all the changes, so I would go check at least that out with the yearly reading. Um, Anyways, Aquarius, if you want to book a love reading um, and you are a subscriber, it's $6 off for the month of February. Remember that. And all the information on booking a private reading with me is right below this video in my description box. Have an absolutely wonderful week, Aquarius. Please do share and subscribe. It helps the channel. And I thank you guys all so much for your support. Thank you.